So I think with, with any uh, malignancy that we treat, um, patients with MPNs, particularly myelofibrosis, um, particularly those patients who are advanced in age, often have competing comorbidities, whether that's kidney dysfunction, liver dysfunction that may be related to a past um, splenic vein thrombosis, um, coronary artery disease, and, and heart dysfunction, um, or sometimes even other uh, malignancies. There's a higher risk of second primary malignancies in patients with MPN. So it's not unusual um, to find patients who have myelofibrosis and renal cell carcinoma or hepatocellular carcinoma or skin cancers. Um, so all of these um, competing comorbidities will factor in and may influence treatment decisions. They may impact a decision to pursue allogeneic hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, which is the only curative approach. Um, they may impact um, the, the decision-making when it uh, comes to the use of JAK inhibitors or other immunomodulatory drugs. Um, so it's really, it can be quite complex and depend on the, the number of and the extent of comorbidities, how that might affect uh, creatinine clearance or, or hepatocellular um, uh, function. So um, it, it sometimes requires a multidisciplinary team with uh, other um, providers to um, determine the optimal um, treatment approach when there are significant comorbidities.